In this daily drop, I'm going to talk about the importance of a pre-light day. So let's go. All right, everybody, brand new episode of The Daily Drop, and I am heading in to do a pre-light. Now, a pre-light is when you go into a location, the place that you're going to be doing your production, and you generally spend the day working out and setting up all of your lighting in that space for whatever the production is. Now, this is something that is sort of a rolling um, cycle when bigger shows are being made. So if it's television or a film that's being actually produced, oftentimes what you'll have is a, a crew that goes in, Grip and Electric, and they will pre-light a location. But that's usually big locations. But in the corporate world, when we're doing these smaller productions, also for documentary, it can be really, really advantageous to try to, especially if it's a, a production that you can do this on, to push for a day where you can set up and work things out. We've all done it. We've all shown up at the location. We've never seen the location. We've never listened to the location. And we are given a space to do our production in. And sure, we can do it. We can set up in a half an hour to an hour and be ready for a two camera interview. And we always make it work. Do we always get the best frames that we can? No. Do we always have our lighting and everything dialed into exactly where we want it to be? No. Do we ever? No. But the advantage of having, if you can budget for it with a client, a pre-light day is you can really work out exactly what your setups are going to be. I'm going into a space today where we're going to be doing two full days of interviews. We're going to be interviewing singles, and then also there'll be two people in frame. And that's news to me, so I have to account for that, and I did in my prep. And we are going to be flipping the key light constantly so that we get different looks in terms of what side people are looking. Are they looking camera right? Are they looking camera left? And also just moving in the space. So that pre-light day gives me and the crew, not much of a crew on this one, the opportunity to figure out what those setups are, be, are going to be. So I can set up a single stool, two stools, I can figure out what my frames are going to be, what's better for keying from one side or the other, and then get to a different part of the room. So it's really that part, just like when you're prepping for a production, where when you go into your production day, you have a very, very clear idea of what's happening. This is even more critical if you have a client who wants you to keep your crew small. Time is our biggest advantage. So if I'm going into a space and I have a full eight to 10 hour day to figure out what I'm going to do and how it's going to look without a client saying, oh, can I see that? Or we need to start it at this time. It makes all the difference in the world. So in this one, I'm wearing the hat of the producer director. Uh, I won't be conducting the interviews. So, so that's good on this one. I will be the DP. I will be first camera operator. I will be sound. <laughs> I'll be grip and electric. So that time is essential. It's another billable day for sure. But if you're keeping the crew small, then I think it's essential. It's pretty essential even if the crew is a little bit larger. But you don't always get it. There you go. Don't forget to. And to. And I'll see you on the next episode of The Daily Drop.